What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. I am back with the Monday message. Uh, I wanted to come on here really quickly and just read from Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 through 22. So it's kind of a lot of text. That's why I just want to dive right in and we get to the meat of the message today. But anyway, so this rich young ruler, after Jesus is talking to his disciples, comes up to him and has a few questions because he's like, you're teaching the kingdom of heaven. I want to be part of that. I want to go to heaven. I want to make sure I don't miss this boat. So Jesus counsels the rich young ruler, says in verse 16, now behold, one came and said to him, good teacher, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good but one that is God. But if you want to enter into life, keep the commandments. Even though Jesus knew he was God, he was like. <laughs> so he said to him, the rich young ruler said to Jesus, which ones, meaning which commandments do am I supposed to keep? Jesus said, okay, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness or AKA lie. Honor your father and your mother and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to Jesus, all these things I have kept from my youth, what do I still lack? So he's like, yo, I've been doing this my whole life, you know, what else I have to do? We good then, you know, I could just go ahead. I'm ready for heaven, you know? <laughs> And Jesus said to him in verse 21, if you want to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. We're talking about a rich young ruler. So there's three different mindsets in that meaning you're rich. So you think a different way about money and the value of it and um, the security you have in it. Um, he's a ruler, so he has power behind his money and he's young. So he's um, less experienced than some elders who are just like, you know what? After I've lived a while and money never comforted me in my hardest times, but I see that this God is real. So he has these three different mindsets working in himself where it's just like, okay, Jesus is like, if you want to be perfect, go and sell what you have, give to the poor and you'll have treasure in heaven. Don't worry about this place. You know, this is, this is not your home. You'll have treasure in heaven. Just come and follow me. What you say? And verse 22 says, but when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. So this message is twofold in the way of mindset and heart posture of what are we willing to do for the kingdom of heaven and for Jesus? And what are we willing to give up and not have or not do? First, I'll start with what are we willing not to do so sometimes we'll look at our possessions and our family and our friends and our experiences and the things that we still desire that we haven't even come into or it was like oh i wish i could and sometimes we can actually make that our idol and we can worship that and when jesus is like yo i need you to drop everything come follow me yo there's a group of people over here they need to hear the gospel it's all over here and it's in a and it's in a hut somewhere where nobody <laughs> nobody there's no electricity there's this and that the, there's bugs in the food there's this and that you will suffer okay you will suffer <laughs> you will feel like you lost something you will lose something here on earth but your treasure is heaven you're building up this this crown you're building up all these treasures in heaven which really is like we he wants us to just serve him not for the treasures really in heaven but just because we know that he's God and God alone and we love him and so are we willing to give up everything for the Lord? Are we willing for real to give up everything? And of course, it's a challenge for me too, where I think about like, ooh, the persecution that can come or that the persecution you've heard of that other people have endured. Am I willing to say yes to Jesus on that level? Is he my everything? And then the other thing, the other revelation I was getting about this scripture is how much are we willing to do as well? So there's a part of not doing, meaning we don't wanna give up our possessions. And then there's a part of doing. Sometimes we're wondering, God, what do you want me to do in this season? God, what is, what is my purpose? God, where are you leading me and guiding me? Lord, what, I, I wanna minister in that way. How do I do this or whatever? And God's like, okay, these are the steps. Seek my face every day. Pray, fast for this long, do this, and consecrate, separate yourself from this. Do like, I need you to eat like this. I need you to uh, be disciplined. I need you to really seek me and trust me. And I'm gonna develop this deep relationship in you. And you will look like my people and I will look like I'm for real your God by the way you follow me. And sometimes in life, we desire something so bad, like this rich young ruler is like, I want to go to heaven. 
but we're not willing to put in the work and feel the, the, the lack or whatever that comes from sacrificing that way. When you know it's the voice of God saying, seek me deeper. I need you to tarry or I need you to go longer in this Bible study. I need you to lay on your face and worship me. I need you to humble yourself in this area. I need you to go apologize to this person. I need you to have that hard conversation. I need you to study the word day and night because you don't know the word or you don't know how to pray or you don't know how to do this. I'm going to show you. And even if you do know how to pray, and you do know the word, there's something deeper in me that I want to show you that you can't get at the level you're at. Are you willing to go deeper? Are you willing to fast? Are you willing to pray? Are you willing for the sake of the kingdom and for the sake of just loving Jesus and going deeper in that relationship? So that's my message today. I told myself I want to try to go to like two minutes every week and stuff. And every week is like eight minutes, two, five minutes. But anyway, I just want to get a clear, concise message out. And I hope it blesses you throughout your week to just get us thinking. It's a challenge for myself where it's just like in what areas can I go deeper with the Lord where he's been calling me? Am I willing to do the hard work to know my purpose, know where he's guiding me, know exactly what he wants for me in this season? The Lord can lead and guide us through strategy. Are we willing to be like water with him? Let's trust in Jesus. I hope this blessed you. Go out there and release the zeal you have for the Lord, whether it's in your prayer closet or with your neighbors. I love y'all so much and I hope to see you back next week. <laughs> Bye.